These are just some connections that I wanted to show you how beautifully and very delicately there are connections made in the Qur'an between things. But what does that mean for you and me? You see, the Prophet ﷺ is being told that sometimes when you, do, and through him we're learning, when you do the right thing, when you follow the command of Allah, when you stand by the truth, when you stand by what is just, when you don't allow corruption to happen under your watch, when you call it out, whenever you do that, it requires sabr. Because whenever you say the truth, somebody gets angry. If you say the truth to your mother, she'll get angry. If you say the truth to your wife, don't try this at home, she'll get angry. If you tell the truth to your brother, he might get angry. There's a truth inside you, there, something wrong has happened. If you speak the truth in the family, sometimes if you speak the truth in your department, the manager might get angry. If you speak the truth in court, some politician might get angry. You know, they, whenever people stand by the right thing, then people get offended. You're afraid to get attacked when you do the right thing. And so what did the Prophet ﷺ get told? وَاصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكَ This is sabr actually. Sabr is, I'm gonna stand by the right thing no matter what happens. No matter what, no matter what people say, no matter how much they attack me. In fact, in this surah right before this, أَمْ يُرِيدُونَ كَيْدًا Are they planning, are they scheming, are they making a plan to hurt the Prophet in some way? Is that what they're planning? Let them plan. You just do what your Rabb told you. You keep doing that. But when you do that, it's scary. It's scary. And so what Allah tells His Prophet ﷺ is that yes, they will attack, they will insult, they will even... By the way, they did try to kill the Prophet, didn't they? Before he could leave Mecca. They tried to kill him ﷺ. So it will get more and more serious. But just know, even when they're trying to kill you, you are under our eye. Allah is watching. And this being under the eye of Allah is actually a very loving phrase. It's a phrase of, it's not just, oh, we're, we're watching you, like, you know, like a security camera watching. It's not like that. It's, it's much more loving than that. Like a, a mother who takes her child out, and she's a, a little baby, two, three years old, is walking a little bit, and the mother, every two, three seconds, she's checking if he's still there. And, or if he, hold, if he lets go of her hand for a quick second, she immediately gets it again. Because she, keeps, she needs to keep an eye on the baby every second. This is bi'ayuniha. It's under her eyes or بِعَيْنَيْهَا under her eyes and so when the Prophet ﷺ is being told Allah is watching Allah is telling him you're never alone when you think they have, there are so many of them and there's so few of the followers they have so much power, I have nothing no, you have Allah with you so you وَصْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكْ فَإِنَّكَ بِأَعْيُنِنَا what that means for you and me again is we've got to be strong and we've got we've to keep doing the right thing until it becomes impossible to do the right thing. Until the very moment it becomes impossible. And when it becomes impossible, Allah will open a new door. Because Allah, that's His promise in other places in the Qur'an too. وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Whoever has taqwa of Allah, Allah will make a new way out for them. A new exit, a new possibility. This is similar to the dua the Prophet ﷺ was told to make. رَبِّ أَدْخِلْنِي مُدْخَلَ صِدْقٍ وَأَخْرِجْنِي مُخْرَجَ صِدْقٍ You know, when you, when you bring me into a situation, bring me with truth. And if you get me out of a situation, get me out because of truth. You know, and it, it's a loaded phrase, but the, the fundamental idea is the same. The idea is you and I cannot just say, we stand up for justice without going through pain. You have to go through pain. Allah loved His Prophet ﷺ so much, and He allowed him to go through a lot of pain. And that's an important lesson. Sabr means you have to go through pain. And when we are ready to go through that pain, then like Nuh alayhi salam, like Musa alayhi salam, and finally like even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, we are going to be under the eye of Allah. Allah is going to be watching. And He is going to, and how will you find this? When will Allah give a new way for you? How will Allah make a new you know, opening for you? Well, the secret is given in the surah, isn't it? Sabbih bihamdi rabbika hina taqoom. Wa min al-layli fasabbihu wa idbar al-nujum. Do tasbih of Allah every time you get up. Just remember Allah in every activity. Hina taqoom means basically any activity. Everything you're about to do, remember Allah first. Ya Allah, I know you're watching. Ya Allah, I know you're perfect. Do that first, and then do whatever job you're about to do. 
And then even at night time, when all your activities are done, then get up in the middle of the night and then declare Allah's perfection again until the stars disappear. We connect ourselves to Allah and Allah guarantees He will bring a new situation. But it's not just dua to Allah, it's sabr, standing up for the truth and dua to Allah.